Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Cradle. Today in this video, we'll see what are the differences between uh, business analyst and data analyst. I've seen many people using these terms interchangeably, which is not completely wrong, but it's not correct also. Uh, it actually uh, depends on in what type of company you are working. So if you're working in a large company, there you will have two different people for uh, both the job roles. So there uh, you will have uh, two different job roles and there you cannot use uh, them interchangeably. But if you're working for some smaller company, there you will probably have uh, one person doing both the uh, work. So there you can uh, definitely uh, use business analyst or data analyst for that particular uh, job role. Uh, so in this video, uh, today we'll discuss about what are the differences. So we'll see the differences uh, from a large company's perspective. So yeah, that is what we will be discussing in this video. Um, and if you are, uh, and I'm making this video mainly because uh, some of the people, uh, they wanted to pursue uh, business analyst or maybe uh, data analyst uh, masters. So they were confused which one to go for. So I hope this video will help you and uh, maybe you can uh, make your mind or maybe if you are just applying for uh, some jobs and if you are confused between data analyst and business analyst, uh, so from this you will uh, get an idea which one is suitable for you. So yeah, we'll start the discussion but as always before moving further, if you are new here or if you are subscribe to the channel, please go subscribe to the channel and be a part of programming career family and also hit the bell icon so that you get notified each time when a video goes live. And if you end up liking this video, please give it a thumbs up, it keeps me motivated to make such videos for you guys. So yeah, with that being said, let's start our discussion. Uh, so yeah, uh, the main difference between uh, data analyst and business analyst is data analyst is more on a technical side and uh, business analyst is more on a soft skill side. So if you are a business analyst, you will be working very closely and communicating very closely to the clients and understanding their problem and uh, what they want to get out of the development team. So you will be uh, talking to them and you will collect all the information from them and then you will uh, compile it together and uh, then you will uh, uh, transform that uh, problem statement uh, into a way which is uh, uh, pretty much understandable by the development team or the data analyst team. Uh, I'm talking about all these things based on my uh, past experience because when I was in uh, Infosys there uh, in my team, there were two different people handling both the jobs. There was one business analyst and there was one data analyst. So the business analyst used to uh, talk to the client and uh, take the problem statement from them and take the data from them, whatever data is required to do the analyst analysis on uh, based on their problem statement and uh, give that data to the uh, dev team or the data analyst and the data analyst used to uh, perform all those analysis using uh, tools like uh, python or uh, uh, Power BI or Tableau and then they used to uh, produce all those results in the form of graphs and uh, things like that which is properly understandable by uh, normal people so and they used to give that results to business analysts and again business analysts used to convey those information to the client so you can see here uh, if you want to be a business analyst or if you are really good with your uh, soft skills uh, most probably uh, you should go for business analyst and if you are very good with technic technical skills like uh, programming and uh, uh, Tableau, Power BI, those kind of things, Excel. So if you are good with those things or if you are interested in those things, you should go for a data analyst. Um, but again, I told you, um, if you are going in a smaller company there, you will have to do almost everything on your own. So it doesn't matter if you are going for data analyst or if you are going for business analyst. So uh, what I have seen from uh, some of the master's courses is that even if they are uh, business analyst masters, uh, they are covering uh, most of the technical tools as well. So you will be uh, trained on almost everything. So you will have... Uh, uh, good understanding of all the things so if you have to do technical aspects you can do that as well and if you have to uh, be prepared with your soft skills you can do that as well so yeah if you are a person in short uh, let's summarize it if you are a person who is really good with your soft skills go for business analyst but if you are interested into technical skills and if you are good with your technical skills you can go for a data analyst uh, let's talk about some salary salary is not uh, uh, much uh, there is no not much difference in salary so 
the starting salary can be uh, six lakh uh, per annum uh, again it depends on company to company this is the average salary i'm telling you uh, minimum can be 3.5 lakh per annum and highest it can go anywhere around uh, 10 to 11 lakhs per annum uh, this is a starting salary it can go much higher so depending on your experience and your depth of knowledge so yeah uh, this is what i want to discuss in this video i hope you found this video helpful and if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you want to learn data science uh, the link of the uh, notes will be in the description you can download the notes I hope it will help you and if you want to join our telegram group where we have uh, over 1000 uh, people and they are helping each other on a daily basis they try to solve each other's query and uh, it is actually a very good community so you can join our telegram group as well and again uh, if you like watching uh, such videos and if you want to gain more knowledge please subscribe to the channel I keep bringing such videos and it also keeps me motivated so yeah see you in the next video bye happy learning